Imagine a world where our electrical systems operate with the harmony and precision of a finely tuned orchestra, where each component not only works in perfect sync, but does so with the utmost efficiency and reliability. This vision is becoming a reality with the implementation of advanced technologies designed to safeguard our infrastructure. Our electrical grids, vast and intricate networks, now incorporate the three-zone protection scheme encompassing zones Z1A, Z2A and Z3A. This innovative approach utilizes distance protection rather than traditional overcurrent relaying, enhancing the selectivity and reliability in handling faults according to system configuration and generating capacity. The three-zone protection scheme acts like a vigilant conductor ensuring that each section of our electrical lines performs flawlessly, maintaining the integrity and safety. Zone 1, or Z1A, is the first line of defense. Covering roughly 80% of section AB, Z1A is critical for quick action. Known as the high-speed zone, it operates without any intentional delays. Here, no time is wasted. When a fault occurs within this zone, the response is immediate, with no intentional delay. This is because accuracy in measuring impedances, the inherent resistance on the line, can become fuzzy towards the end of the line, especially when the currents don't play nice. Moving on to Zone 2, or Z2A, this zone steps into cover not only the remaining 20% of the line AB, but also extends to 20% of the adjoining line. As we delve deeper into the specifics of Z2A, it's crucial to understand its strategic importance in the overall network protection strategy. This zone acts as a secondary defense, ensuring any disturbances missed by the primary relays are caught and managed. If a fault sneaks into this section, the relay at A waits for a brief moment, typically between 0.2 to 0.5 seconds, before springing into action. This delay is critical, as it allows for a comprehensive analysis of the fault it helps to confirm the nature of the fault and its location, ensuring that the corrective actions taken are both timely and precise. Such precautions are vital for maintaining system stability and avoiding unnecessary outages. This delay ensures that the fault is accurately identified, especially in cases of arcing faults that might alter perceived impedances. Lastly, we have Zone 3, or Z3A, the ultimate backup. This meticulously engineered zone functions as a critical safeguard, specifically programmed to guard against any malfunctions that may occur in the adjacent line CD. In the event that the relay at point C fails, the system is adeptly configured so that relay A promptly activates. This transition occurs within a window of 0.4 to 1 second, thereby guaranteeing minimal disruption and maintaining a robust defense for the entire network infrastructure ensuring continued protection and stability across the network. But what happens when a fault occurs in a section that might cause both relays at A and B to see it differently? To understand this, imagine the system as a network of sensitive checkpoints, each designed to detect disruptions and communicate accordingly. When a fault is detected, the relay at B, equipped with advanced sensors, immediately identifies the problem within its vicinity. Recognizing the urgency, it sends an inter-trip signal to Relay A. This rapid communication is crucial, as it coordinates the response between the two relays, enhancing the system's efficiency and reliability. This signal helps A to act swiftly, avoiding any undesirable delays, and ensuring the system remains stable. In conclusion, the three-zone protection scheme is not just about reacting to faults, it's about doing so with precision, speed and intelligence, ensuring our electrical systems are robust yet responsive. This innovative approach leverages advanced technology to differentiate between transient faults and permanent damage, minimizing downtime and preventing catastrophic failures. By integrating real-time monitoring and automated controls, the scheme optimally protects the grid, ensuring continuous and reliable power supply. It's a testament to how advanced engineering helps safeguard our modern world. If you found this explanation enlightening, do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more insights.
Your engagement encourages us to present more content tailored to your interests. Whether it's deep dives into unknown topics or answers to common queries, we're here to help expand your knowledge. Have any questions or suggestions? Feel free to drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and connected.